Before I start this wonderful movie, I will tell you a quick summary of the previous part, which my dear, I summarized of course, and which you should watch, before you watch the summary of the second part. I will leave you the link in the description. Look my friend, the movie talks about a strange and terrifying prison, consisting of many layers on top of each other. 333 floors in number. Between these layers, there's a hole from which a table with food on it descends every day for only two minutes on each floor. If you think of doing tricks and carrying food aside to the alley, they know and change the temperature of the cell. So either it gets hot and you die from the amount of breathing and joy, or it snows and you die from the cold, meaning you die in both cases. And every month people in prison get drugged and wake up and find themselves in other cells. Other than the one they were in, and the possibilities are either you are on the upper floors and the food is delivered to you early, or you are on the lower floors and of course the food is finished. The important thing is that the floors completely below were the oppressed floors, because when it was their turn, the food was literally wiped off the plates, so the strong among them killed the weak so that they could eat and live. Anyway, my dear, the idea of the film conveys to you the state of the world and the people in it. And before I start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell because the best is coming. Come on, our film begins with the prisoners who were recently in prison, and each one of them was sitting and saying what food he would eat. In prison, and each one chooses only one thing to take with him to prison. And this, my dear, was the law. The new thing they follow, and the law is that the prisoners themselves made it. Everyone eats what he wants and does not look at anything else. This teacher's name is Zam Yetin, and his favorite food was pizza. But one time he finds that the prisoners above him took his right and ate it, and he knows that the man on plate 21 is the one who ate the meat on it, so he was very angry and wanted to eat the food of the people on the floor below him. But the prisoners above him try to stop him and tell him to follow the law so that he will not be punished. And he tells him if he breaks the law, the prisoners below him will not find anything to eat. And the girl with him, whose name is Parambo, tries to make him other food and actually succeeds in convincing him not to approach any deputy other than him. And the days pass and one time the 19th floor and the 20th floor got down to the 21st floor to punish the people who eat the food of others. And at that time, the people who have mercy and humanity entered and a fight broke out between the floors. And before they arrived they had to go. And the one with him said the prisoner above them takes anything and cooperates with them. And indeed she ran in a circle and took part of the bed while the other was afraid and kept saying, leave him eat my food and do not hurt me. Suddenly, the food platform reaches the floor above them. And they hear the sound of hitting and screaming and the food on the platform enters the cell. And when she went down to them, they found the temperature on the floor above them rising and the prisoner kept screaming and throwing food in her cell. But unfortunately, the temperature increased more and caught fire and fell on. The man tried to put it out, and the one who was with her in the cell was shitting the man who was eating people's food until two minutes passed, and the platform came down, and they ran quickly and threw the food out of the cell. And this because the snow started falling, and then they tied up the man who made all this mess. And unfortunately, my dear the woman who caught fire died. Aunt heard those sitting with her in the cell and told them that he would take the man who made this mess and went down to look for one of the good people, and he met my dear the one who made the new law, and they know that this law has been in place here for a long time, and he stayed alone for a month on the floor where there was no food, and the following month he was also transferred to a floor where there was no food, and at that time he decided to cut off part of his body in order to feeding the poor classes, and from that moment on, this law was put in place and they spread the message. The Mongol classes in order to distribute food fairly, he distributes it fairly. Zam Yatin told him that he had not eaten for days and he wanted his pizza. He turns around the woman who was with him in the cell and throws it out of the hole. At that moment we hear the sounds of people who look like zombies running towards her.
These are the people whose lives have ended. The next day the food is brought down to them. His pizza was intact, and they became layers. They follow the law, but he repeats that what they have is that he throws the food of the dead people. He tells them that they must apply justice. It is not right to eat more than the rest of the people. He tells them that he will go down to meet the owner of the law and assures them that they throw the meals of the dead people every day. He carries the man who made the chaos and takes it down to the platform. The days pass and Baran Buan was following the law. She was preventing the big guy with her from eating other people's food until one time she found him eating from it, but she refused to tempt him. He stayed on for a few days. This system continued until they were able to deliver the food to the 175th plate, and they were all happy and dancing. And when the month ended, they found themselves transferred to the 180th plate, and the people who were in the upper floors were not following the law, and no food was reaching them at all. And the whole month was passing them. By like this until Zamyatin started to get tired and at that time the owner of the law decided to intervene in the matter and they started to punish the savage people who did not implement the law and the days passed by and they were in the same situation and one time they heard that the upper floors broke the law when they knew that the previous month the people who were in the 24th plate had the food of dead people and because of that the world was ruined that month and when they asked them which floor they were on they refused to tell the truth and said the number, off these con floors so that Zamyatin would not be punished, and this is because they were the ones who were on the fourth floor T, and one time Zamyatin thought about the reason for his entry. This prison and we know Aziz that he was always so stubborn in his house that his wife and children kicked him out and couldn't stand it, and he decides to get rid of his miserable life, and when Reem wakes up, she sees him yelling at her to stay away from him and he really sets himself on fire and gets rid of what he's in. The month ends and she wakes up and finds herself in a new cell. And with her was a new girl and her arm was missing. And they hear that the new prisoners don't want to abide by the law and they were eating until they were full. So they decide to go down to discipline them. But the law says that only four can go down. But Baram Wan insists on going down with them and tells them that six is better than four so they can overpower them. And they go down to the platform to the plate below them. And when the men saw them, they told them that it's not right for there to be 6-6. Six, six. But Barmbone falls into the words, so the second man decides not to go down in order to maintain communication with the prisoners. They go down and take those on the floor after them until the savages go down, and they go down, grinding each other down. When Barmbone came to finish off one of them, he begged her and told her that he had been here for a year and a half. So she let him go down to the platform and annoyed the one with her and kept screaming and telling her that she had been here for six months. On the first day, her friend explained the law to her and they kept applying it and going by it until one time they found a young man dying due to lack of food. So they decided to, gi decided to give him some of the people who had died and gave him more food than his meal. After a few can, the day the Mukhtars came to them and were amazed because they broke the law and she knew that they were the reason for what happened to her hand. Her friend was upset with her and she lost the owner of the law himself, so he punished her with a very severe punishment and tied her up. And she is a bull on the platform and then they bring her down to the last level. And this, my dear, is the level where people eat each other from hunger. And she tells her that they have to escape from here. No one entered here and came out finally. We have to act and escape. And she tells her that the only way is when changing levels. So she tells her, how can we not smell the gas that they spray? But they find the chosen ones descending on them. And the owner of the law who has no eyes repeats that he will punish them. Because they came out of the law, this man said to him, I told her that it is not right for there to be only six and she is the one who insisted. He said to him, but she still did not do anything. And he raises them all by their hands and pulls the rope from the other side and the platform descends on them. And he gets angry at their hands. And they also pull out the girl who was with Barambiwan and raises her on the platform. 
and she also descends to the last level, like they did with her friend. And after that we see a group of many children playing. And honestly, my dear, what no one understands who these children are, or where they are. I don't know if they are the children of the women in prison, or if they were with them when they came in, and took them from them. The director is almost making a secret between him and the actors. Anyway, the scene changes and we see Baram and Juan waking up from sleep and being in a cell with the old man, who is also supposed to have died in the first part. When she asked him about the thing he took with the prison, he showed her the same knife from the first part, so she asked him to use his knife. As soon as the platform comes down with the food, he runs to the food and continues to eat greedily. She takes the point and goes down to the floor below and talks to the people and tells them that she will be transferred to the Mukturan because she will not continue to live at their mercy. She encourages all the people and gets angry so that they object to the Mukhtarin and become free. In fact, a lot of people agree with her and those who were afraid were thrown into the cell. His eating and of course this will make the temperature change and he will die and they will keep going down the platform until he sees a painted board and this old woman brought it with her and takes the skin that was on it and they start preparing anything to defend themselves with and the next day they wake up to the sound of the platform going down and they know that the chosen nuns are going down and they all get used to it and they become one hand and before he goes down on them he stands on the floor above them man tells them that whoever changes his mind and comes down from the pump now you will forgive him and will not punish him, and really my dear many people get scared and go down, and the rest repeat sitting and fighting, and the chosen ones decide to leave them like this for a few days without food so that their bodies are weak so they can finish them off. But they used to eat from the dead people so that they can resist and fight him. And when the day comes for the chosen ones to go down, they were brought to Aaron. They set up an ambush for them and they were hiding inside the mattresses so that they wouldn't target their legs from underneath and impede their movement and everyone started hitting each other except for this old man. In this scene, I felt that the heroine of the film was hallucinating, nothing more, and that he was there just to motivate her. Anyway, a big fight happens and no one lives except her and this old man and she takes some of her and goes to the blind man and throws him and everyone out of the hole. The dead and then she eats part of the painting she took and remembers her friend's plan and suddenly she gets tired and faints and when she wakes up she finds herself placed with the corpses in my dear. There were people wearing masks moving the corpses to another place and they were on the 332nd floor and when she goes down to the last level she sees them changing people from their cells and at the same time we see the same children and a man and a woman enter and take one of them. And after a while she says them putting this boy to sleep on the bed. And she repeats that she helps him and does not leave him in this prison and she goes out to him and carries him from his bed, but she stumbles because of gravity in the place and finds herself sitting with the man from the previous part and he throws a knife at her and he wanted her to kill the boy but she refuses and screams. And this, my dear, is because she originally entered this prison because she was the reason for the death of her lover's son. And suddenly she wakes up and she finds herself on the platform with the boy and she goes down with him to the hole after all the levels. And she finds many people approaching her and one of them tells her that her journey is over. But this boy still has a chance and they get down from the platform and the platform comes out again with the boy. And this is also, my dear, what happened to the hero of the previous part and the old man appears and tells him that he passed the tests and after a while he finds Baram Bowen coming towards him and it turns out that he's her lover and they huge each other in shock and the movie ends like this and Wes still did not understand this ending like the ending of the first parts. But Wes salute the director and hope he will explain to us next time his ending like my dear. Don't forget to tell me your opinion in a comment and see you in the next movie.